This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's, uh, let's keep it going here. Mayhem wants to know, can you explain the process when an injury occurs in the ring and the ref has to throw up the injury X what's said between the wrestlers, what happens in gorilla or backstage when the signal is given that a talent is hurt, depending on the injury, how do you get to a finish? This is an interesting question Arn, because you and I have never really talked about this before, but it does feel like there's gotta be some sort of protocol or process, but we fans don't really know other than when they throw up the X that usually means something not planned has happened and it's not good. Well, and for a long time, that was never prostituted either. Right. When the X goes up, you got an injury, not somebody's hurt or somebody got dinged up. You got an injury match shuts down matches over. That's it. Now in the old days, You didn't have headsets. You didn't have referees doing an X. You didn't even have a doctor in the building. Who the hell are we going to do the X for? Right. The X means we need a doctor now. And with concussions and all the other higher tech injuries that, that the talent has now, when you see a referee make the X with his hands, that means give me a doctor. Somebody's injured. And the match shuts down, period, should not continue at all. Now, we've since went and shut all over that from time to time and did the X when it was a work, and it turned out being a work. So now it's when the X goes up, are they working or is somebody really hurt? See, we cause our own problems doing stupid shit like that. That should have been something sacred. It never gets broken when the X goes up matches over that would be the protocol and that's how it started out you know but back in the day now that you just tried hey if it meant getting back in the ring and just having a guy drop an elbow on you and one two three you got to the finish of a match because a lot of times it was you know it was centered around a big title match or or whatever the stipulations on a match could be you had to have a finish So in the old days, you just somehow got through it and, uh, it was just a different animal. Let's talk about, uh, another question here from drew. This is a decent one. He says flair often says sting was his toughest opponent, either as a tag or in singles. Who was your toughest opponent? Um, Ronnie Garvin was tough. Uh, he would stretch you with just his damn feet. Wasn't even using his arms. Uh, but it was a real physical match. Um, Road Warriors was very physical match. Ming, very physical. Uh, you know, even though these guys weren't reckless, you know, they weren't dropping you on your head. The contact was very physical. You know, the Steiners, very physical. Uh, A lot of guys from that era were just very solid with their work. And uh, that would be some of them. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.